Hi everyone, Tasha from Stardust Gold Crochet. I really love this cornflower stitch. This is going to be our Saturday Stitch Explorer tutorial today. Um, it's a really great stitch. It has these really nice little holes that would be great for a summer project, a pillow even. It might look pretty for a pillow. So we're going to get started and grab your hook and your yarn. Today I'm going to use a J-hook with um, actually home deck yarn because it's a little bit easier to see the stitches than the 24-7 um, cotton that I used for this, this sample. But I really like using the smaller yarn um, and a smaller hook size for this because it create you can kind of see the, the pattern a little bit better and it's um, a little finer. It actually would be pretty, pretty in a, um, using a smaller hook and even maybe a three weight yarn. All right, let's get started. So to start, I'm going to do a foundation single crochet row. And to do that, you create a slip knot, and then you're going to chain two. You go ahead and insert your hook into the first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through two. In the second stitch, you're going to put your hook through the bottom two, loops of the first chain you created, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, which is considered a chain one, yarn over and pull through two. So you've created two foundation single crochet. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. This pattern works in multiples of 10 plus one. So for this tutorial, I'm going to, cha I'm going to do a foundation single crochet of 20 and then add one more so I'll have 21 by the end of it and here I'm going to speed it up now okay so you may need to grab your coffee for this one guys because it's a four row repeat I'm starting at row three right now we're going to work on row two and for row two you chain one then you turn and we're going to skip one two three and four and then we're going to work a double crochet chain one and double crochet into the same stitch then we're going to chain one into the next stitch work a double crochet chain one and do another double crochet chain one double crochet cluster and those little clusters create a fan a fan look to it all right so there we have our double crochets with chain ones in between each of our double crochets and we have one, two, three, four, five over three stitches. So what we're going to do next is we're going to skip three and work a single crochet into the next. Like that. Then we skip three. And in the fourth one, we re this is where our repeat starts. We do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. So you can see it's creating kind of these little fans this is just for row one and it gets a little bit more complicated for the other rows, but it's a really great stitch to learn and the written pattern will be on my blog. So after that, we skip three and then we do one single crochet into the last foundation single crochet. And so there you have our first row, or our second row actually, because I consider the foundation row, row one. So that'll be in the written pattern. So for row three, we're going to go ahead and chain four. 
So we've got one, two, three, and four. Turn your work. Then you're going to double crochet into the single crochet that's right here at the base of your chain. So we have one double crochet there. Then we're going to chain one. We're going to skip the double crochet, the chain one, and the other double crochet. And then we're going to work a single crochet into the next three stitches. And when you work into the chain one spaces, or the chains, we're going to go around into the chain one space. So you do one single crochet in the chain one, a single crochet in the top of the double crochet, and then a single crochet into the chain one. And then we're going to go ahead and chain one. And that's pretty much our repeat there. So we double crochet one. Actually, that's not where our repeat ends, I'm sorry. Um, so now we're going to double crochet one, chain three, and double crochet one into the next single crochet. So we'll be skipping the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and working into that single crochet. So you're going to do a double crochet here, a chain three, and this is what makes the big holes in the center and then double crochet into the same single crochet. That's what creates the big holes that you'll be work that create the th kind of fan pattern. Okay, so after this, we do a chain one. This is where the repeat starts. Chain one, and then we're gonna skip, double crochet, chain one, and that double crochet, work in two. The chain one space, double single crochet into the next, and single crochet into the next. So you've got three single crochets. And we're at the end here, so our repeat is going to actually end with our chain one. And then we're going to do a double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet in the chain one. So we're going to skip all of these go over to our chain one, which is right here, and we're going to work one double crochet, a chain one, and a double crochet. Can you see the pattern emerging with the chain ones and the double crochets? All right, so there we have our end, and we have our row three. So for row four, you need a deep breath or take a break, you can press pause. Row four, we're going to chain four. Turn. And we're doing a double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet into the first chain space. That's the chain space created from the stitch we just did. So do double crochet, chain one double crochet. So we're going to skip this double crochet, a chain one and a single crochet, and do a single crochet into the next stitch, the next single crochet. And here we're going to do a double crochet one and a chain one four times into the chain three space. So we do a double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and then we work one more double crochet into that chain space. So you have five double crochets and four chain one spaces. There you go. So you got one, two, three, four, five, plus my chain ones. Okay, so after that, we're going to repeat that from the skipping the stitch or skipping the double crochet, the chain one, and the single crochet. So we're going to work another single crochet into the center of that next single crochet. See how I mean this can be a little confusing, but it takes a bit of practice. So now that we're at the end, we're going to end our repeat 
at a single crochet in the in the next single crochet which is this one so after we get to the end here then we're going to double cro crochet one chain one two times and then one more double crochet into the fourth chain of the chain four so we've already reached the end here and we're going to go straight into that chain four the top of the chain four which would be right about there and into that we're going to work a double crochet one, chain one two times, and then one more. So you're really doing three double crochets with chain ones in between them. And let's see if I can get into that, that stitch. Okay, so we've got a double crochet one, chain one, another double crochet, chain one, and one more double crochet and then that that finishes out the end of the row see how it's starting to come out so for row five we do a chain one we turn we're going to skip the first double crochet which is right here then we're going to single crochet one into the chain space and chain one after that then we're going to double crochet one, chain three, and double crochet one into the next single crochet, which is right here. So you double crochet one, chain three, and double crochet one into that same single crochet stitch. And then we're going to chain one after that. We're going to skip the double crochet, the chain one space, and the next double crochet and then do the single crochets like we did in the previous row. The first one starting into the chain space. The second is into the top of the double crochet. And the third is in the chain space. So we do a three single crochets. And then we chain one after that. And then we begin our repeat again by doing a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet one into the single crochet. Chain one, oops, chain three, I'm sorry. Two, three, double crochet. Then we're gonna end our repeat after we do our chain one right here. So the, that's where our repeat ends because we're coming here up at the end. And then after the repeat, we're gonna single crochet one in each of the next two chains from the chain four from this previous row. So let's find our chains. We've got one there, one there. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go into the hump first because it makes it just a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna twist it back around. So we got one single crochet. Let's see if I can get it, I'll just do it in one. So there we have our two single crochets into the two chains from chain four. So, you're ready for row six. There's our rows one through five. So we're gonna chain one, we're gonna turn, then we're gonna double crochet one and chain one four times into the chain three space right here. So we're skipping all of these stitches right here and going straight into the chain three space. So we do a double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. We do that four times. And then we do one, one last one into there. And that gives us our five double crochets and four chain ones. All right, so then we're gonna skip the double crochet. We're gonna skip the chain and one of the single crochets. So we get our double, our chain, and one, and then we're gonna work a single crochet into the next. And then we're gonna start back at the, f at the beginning and do another one of these fans straight into the chain three. So we've got one plus chain double crochet, 
chain one. Don't forget those chain ones in between. I've done that a few times. All right, so there's our next fan. And then we're gonna end our repeat here because we're right at the end of the row. And then we do a single crochet into the last single crochet. So we remember we have two, or here we've got a double crochet, a chain, and a single crochet. So we're going to do one single crochet into the last. All right, you guys, you survived. This is your repeat. And actually, I mean, I used 30 um, for this swatch. This is 20, so you can see, of course, the more, the more repeats or the more uh, multiples you use, the prettier it looks. But it, there you go. So here, from here on out, you're going to repeat rows three, four, five, and six, and keep going up until you reach your desired height. I hope that wasn't too hard for you guys and always you can slow the video down or do what you need to do and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, leave it below. Um, if you have any tips and tricks or if you've created um, another stitch you'd like me to do a tutorial for, I would love to do that. Alright guys, so please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crocheting!